Hi folks, this is climatologist Cliff Harris. I've been watching the weather for over 62 years and I've never seen the type of weather extremes that we're seeing now. Well, I'm going to tell you these cycles have come and gone for thousands of years. They recur like clockwork. Let's take a look at this 4,500 year chart. Look at all these warm periods that we've had. This is the current one, but look at these. This period here, the climate optimum. And back at, look at this, this period here at 1100 BC, much, much warmer than the current one. In this portion in here, about a thousand years ago, Leif Erikson and his mighty Vikings were farming Greenland. Well, they're certainly not farming Greenland and ranching like they were a thousand years ago. Growing tomatoes and grapes? I hardly think so. Then look what happened right after that. The Little Ice Age. Tremendous cold that lasted for almost 500 years from the mid-1300s to the mid-1800s. A huge period of cold. You can see we've had at least 78 major changes weather-wise in the last 4,500 years. And you know, that's about a change every 56 years. And in the past 40 years, We've had two changes. Remember back in the 70s, they were telling us that we were going into an ice age? Well, it didn't happen, folks. We went the other way. Well, now they're telling us we're going to burn up like an ember, but you know what? We're going to go the other direction. That's the way the weather has been, and that's the way the weather will be. Okay, folks, where do we go from here, weather-wise? Well, it looks to me like we're going to have the worst period of wild weather extremes in recorded history, or at least since the 1300s. Here's where we are now. 2014, we're fairly close to the normal of 57 degrees Fahrenheit on a global basis. We're a little above there, but we're taking a big plunge, if you notice, to 2019, maybe 2021. This will be the period when we get the big snows in the northwestern U.S. and possibly the northeast and record cold all the way down into Florida. There go the tomatoes, there go the oranges, and possibly all the way south into Texas as well. But it's going to be very, very cold. And then all of a sudden, everybody's going to be talking an ice age, and we're going to go back up again. Because these cycles are going faster and faster and faster and faster, much like what happened in the 1300s. Now, we don't remember that because our lifespan is only 80 years, maybe 100. And remember, the weather patterns also have a lifespan, just like us, like the animals, the trees. Well, weather patterns have a lifespan. They last usually 60, 80, 100 years, and then they switch, and they go back and forth and back and forth. Remember, we've had 78 of those major changes in 4,500 years. That's one every 56 years. So they come fast and furious, and right now we're seeing about a major change every 30 or 40 years. So they're coming closer together. And remember also, we have cold dry cycles, warm dry cycles, wet and cool cycles, warm and cool cycles, and they all make up part of Raymond H. Wheeler's drought clock. It all adds up to about 102 years, and five of those cycles is this 510 drought year clock, and that ties in beautifully with the big drought in California, the worst drought in at least 500 years, the worst winter at North Country in 500 years. It all ties together. Remember, folks, on the whole, though, we're not in Mother Nature's greenhouse. We're not in her ice house. We're in her fun house and we're not going to get out anytime soon.